What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy EK, and thank you for tuning in to another episode on EK Visions TV. If you like my other videos that I uploaded, hit that like button and subscribe while you're at it. So, I got a lot of messages on my Snapchat on the recent book that I kept posting, so I thought, why not make a review about it? All of you that were wondering, the book that I was reading was called The Champion's Mind, how Great Athletes Think, Train, and Thrive by Jim Aframo. I personally really enjoyed this book because a lot of the content was really relatable. And I know the title says athletes, but this could be applied to everyday life. And some of the content that I really enjoyed in this book were... And the reason why this stood out to me was because an online mentor named Gary Vanyerchuk has been preaching the same content and basically what managing your limitations means is you have to be so focused on your strengths that your weaknesses don't really affect your performance in whatever you do whether that be sports at work in everyday life and that doesn't mean ignore your weaknesses and just forget about them that just means you have to be fully immersed in your strengths and know how you got to this point in life or that in your career or whatever the case may be you can still work on your weaknesses but you have to be able to ride your strengths and ride them to the fullest so your weaknesses don't really affect you another section that stood out to me was and growing up being an athlete I used to hear about these exercises to try but I never really got around to sticking to them and after reading this book uh, I had a breakfast with one of my mentors and he said that he works at an IT company and a lot of the people, the millionaires, the billionaires that come through the company, that's one practice that they consistently preach. So I thought, why not try and incorporate this into my everyday life? And lastly, section number three. This stood out to me in the entire book. And I'm sure many of us have heard the phrase, but I, this is the first time that I heard about it where family was involved, especially in a book. And Jim says in the book that you must cut off any ties with anybody that's bringing consistent negativity in your life, whether that be friends, co-workers, and even family. I think this is huge because most of the time it's your family members that are the first ones to hear about your goals and your ideas. So if any three of these people are bringing you down and bringing any sort of negativity in your life, fuck them respectfully and go take what's yours all right guys that's it for this video i strongly recommend this book if you're an athlete or not and if you're looking to get a mental edge over life hit that like button and subscribe while you're at it i'll put a link below for the book and in closing go get your money go do whatever it takes to make you happy and stay away from negative energy because at the end of the day it's all about positive vibes only Thanks for watching, guys.